that term almost. Jeziah, which is, uh, they translate it tax, but Jeziah comes from, uh, Jeza means, means punishment. You pay a penalty for something. Many Christians in, from where Dr. Badawi comes from, from Egypt, today are paying Jeziah to many radical groups just for them to stay alive. Many of them have been executed because they refuse to pay it. That's been practiced, that's been packed of Omar for the past 1,500 years. And we could discuss it in de detail, but we don't have time. With willing submission and feel themselves subdued. Now, here is, if you go on internet, there is a site called Tafsir. Tafsir, www.tafsir.com. Uh, this is Ibn Kathir that is one of the most renowned scholar and commentator of the Quran. He was, uh, he was both mufassir, which means uh, something who, someone who tafsir does. Tafsir means commentate. And also qadi, he was a very knowledgeable master of a scholar, master scholar of Islamic history. Uh, I really question if you question Mr. Kathir. Kathir says, paying jaziah is a sign of kufr and disgrace. Allah said, until they pay the jaziah, if they do not choose to embrace Islam with willing submission in defeat and subservience and feel themselves subdued. That's what Christian, Christians are doing over 51 nations on the planet earth today in Muslim nations. Feel themselves subdued, disgraced, humiliated, and belittled. Therefore Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of Qaymah. That's again the Christians and the Jews. Or elevate them above Muslim for they are miserable, disgraced, and humiliated. by yourself. Thirdly, he says that those who are not accepting Islam have to pay jizya. And he had a very uh, strange interpretation. I never heard of jizya, jaza. In fact, it is jaza, but not jaza, or in return for not accepting Islam. In return, jizya means in return for receiving the services of the state, because under Islamic state, uh, truly Islamic state, I'm not talking about the 51 nation, he's talking about they're deviating from Islam. I'm talking about normatively in the teaching of Islam, all citizens, Muslims and otherwise are entitled to all the services and they are exempt from being, you know, drafted in the army so that they don't fight against their own particular beliefs. Now, how do you finance the state if all the funds are coming only from zakah paid by Muslims? Why didn't the Quran say, but take zakah from Christians also so that you be equal? Well, if you tell uh, Christians to pay zakah, which is not only a tax, it is a religious concept, it is part of the pillars of Islam, you're insulting the religious feeling. Actually, he didn't mention to us something very important that at the time of Umar, the second caliph after the prophet, there were some uh, you know, people who did not accept Islam in Arabia and didn't like the term jizya. He said, all right, pay it as charity, just like Muslim pay zakah to contribute their share. Number two, when the question of zakah, it is not a punishment at all, because if a person becomes a Muslim, he pays zakah, which is normally more than what he pay for jizya. Actually, if you calculate zakah, it's, it's actually more than jizya. Jizya is not set in the Quran, it's only a token. Number two, he says that they pay it and while they are humiliated. This is one interpretation that he gave. There are many great scholars like Imam Shafi'i and others. Say an yadin in Arabic means if they are able, and that's known in Islamic law, that non-Muslim citizens who are living under the protection of Islam uh, are not required actually to, um, to pay that poll tax if they're not able to. And they say feeling themselves humiliated. Imam Shafi'i said no. Saghirun has variety of meanings. But uh, like I said earlier, the meaning must be contextual. If a person is not fighting, how come you force him to be humiliated when the Quran says treat him in kindness and justice? This again, what I call the cut and paste approach. Uh, and yet he says Saghirun means accepting the authority of the state because those who fought Muslims before and then finally they were defeated, they're giving that as a token also, not only for receiving the services of the state, but as a token for peaceful relationship, which is far less than what Zakah uh, pays.